Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, what does coffee really do to your body anyway? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. And uh, let's start this right now. I've had eight cups of coffee and I want to know, how come coffee wakes me up? Surprise! The answer obviously is caffeine. But let's look at how caffeine actually works. Essentially, it negates the brain chemical responsible for making you feel sleepy in the first place, adenosine. Mm -hmm. This chemical builds up in our bodies throughout the day, making us feel more and more tired, and is only flushed out, so to speak, once we finally give in and go to sleep. But if now isn't a convenient time to nap, say you're driving 90 on the freeway, caffeine works to block the effect of adenosine on your brain. It doesn't remove the need for sleep entirely, it just stops you feeling the urge for a while. So, how come I also feel like I'm in a really, 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 really good mood after having my morning coffee? You may find yourself in a better mood generally after a coffee because caffeine has other tricks up its sleeve. As well as interfering with adenosine, it also encourages the release of a cocktail of stimulating feel-good chemicals, including dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. At the same time, it speeds up the release of energy from your fat cells, giving you a brief feeling of being raring to go. If there's so much feel-good stuff in there, how come coffee sometimes makes me feel like my heart's going to explode through my face? Like right now, for example. Because it makes all your systems run a little faster than usual, coffee can make you feel kind of wired which is disconcerting if you are only looking to be less sleepy. Plus, along with the other hormones, caffeine can increase the amount of adrenaline in your body. This fight-or-flight chemical is responsible for making you feel jittery, especially if you're doing something that isn't burning off the excess energy, like sitting in an office chair and trying to count your pulse rate. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think I just need another coffee. Hey, here's a completely unrelated question. Why does coffee make you poop? Uh, be right back. That happens because caffeine causes muscle contractions in your large intestine, the same kind that happen when you've just eaten a big meal. And if you're getting full-blown diarrhea from coffee, maybe it's time to cut down. This is a result of caffeine making the gallbladder release bile into the intestines, with the end result that you're really just caffeinating the toilet bowl. Oh my god, that was... you don't want to know. Hey, just out of interest, uh, how much coffee can I drink without, you know dying. The bad news is there is such a thing as a lethal dose of caffeine, according to Mitchell Moffat, co-creator of YouTube science channel ASAP Science. The good news is it's very hard to reach with coffee. It would take 150 milligrams of caffeine per kilo of your body weight to kill you. That's the equivalent of someone weighing a little over 150 pounds drinking 70 cups of coffee. Not only could you not possibly drink that much, you'd get some serious warning signs first in the form of mania and hallucinations. Thank you for sharing this information with me, small blue talking horse in a Napoleon hat. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.